Ah, good evening, good evening, good evening, Satnam. And welcome to, <clears throat> this is, I think, lesson five of the Kundalini for, beginner, for Beginners, um, Kundalini Warrior Yoga for Beginners. And tonight we're going to be concentrating on deep relaxation. It's such uh, a hot day here um, in the UK and um, yeah I think we're all very tired from the heat so I think that uh, my evening classes um, are going to be very much towards uh, relaxation rather than pumping ourselves up so tonight I'm not going to describe through um, because it's just us as well here um, and I have earlier videos that describe all the different nuances of Kundalini Yoga and why we're not all wearing whites and how we're sitting and, and the breath work. So I'm not, I'm not gonna go through all that tonight. It's gonna be an easier um, sort of, just more of a bit of flowing class today of just very restful kriyas for deep relaxation, okay? So that's what we're gonna be doing tonight. And it's really lovely to have you here um, in person, Coral. And anyone who's watching on replay, I may put this out. So if anyone's watching replay, welcome. So I'm gonna begin my class today um, with the tune in as always so we always tune in with um, the Adi mantra and the Mangala Charan mantra the protection mantra so the seed mantra and the, the protection mantra so if you'd like to join me for this um, as always just giving yourself making sure that you've got bits and pieces that you need like a bolster um, maybe a block today if you've got a hand you probably have coral we've got so much equipment there um, maybe a bolster if you want to for your forehead a bit later um, a towel for your knees and, and bits and pieces if, if you need it um, so, so we're going to tune in so we're going to tune in but before we do just a little reminder that you want to sit up nice and straight I'm just sitting in easy pose you can sit um, in uh, lotus, whatever, you know, your hips, if your hips are very um, able, then you can sit in um, a much more, um, you know, deeper pose for you. So I'm actually going to take this off um, because I'm very hot. Um, so <laughs> let's begin uh, to start to kind of compose ourselves for the tune in. So. For the tune in, it would be really good if you can really concentrate on pulling up that Mula Banda, the anal passage and your Yoni, and then your Uniana Banda, your uh, belly button, uh, keeping that double root lock in the bottom uh, half of your body. Remember Kundalini Yoga is yoga of awakening, yoga of awareness. So you wanna keep the spine really open so that we can draw in that breath through both of our nostrils and breathing it down our bodies. So we're keeping our chest open with the root lock and the um, navel lock. And for uh, tuning in, we're gonna have our hands together. We're gonna put all the planets together, all the emotions together, all the internal organs together. You can rest your hands inside your chest on your thymus, or you can just have them a few inches away. But keeping your back nice and straight, and we're just going to tune in together with our tuning in uh, mantra, which are both the Adi mantra and the Mangalanchara mantra together. So let us begin. Are you okay with sound there? So taking a deep breath in and out. And join in when you're ready. Um.
a deep breath in, suspend your breath, keeping your shoulders down, and then breathing it back down through your shishumna, through your energy channel, and out through your perineum. <sighs> okay, beautiful. You ready to begin? So what I'd like to do with my classes, I think, is to continue my love of, um, rather than reading a quote, although I will read quotes and poems, I kind of really, really um, resonate with cards, as you know, card reading. And um, so I'm going to um, pick a card today. In fact, I'm going to ask you, Coral, because you are uh, here in person, I'm going to use the Starseed Oracle card by Rebecca Campbell today because this class is actually open to men as well. So I thought maybe not goddess cards, we would actually have some Oracle cards, Starseed cards. So um, if you want to give me a number, um, and it doesn't have to be between 1 and 13, but, <laughs> but keep it maybe under, I don't know, whatever, 21. So she's giving me the number seven. Okay, fabulous. So let's just see, for a bit of guidance today, let's just have, um, pull an oracle card. And the Starseed oracles are really all about us being really aware of our higher selves. You know, these are really good cards and complement Kundalini really well, because Kundalini is about your spiritual body as well as your mind and your physical body. And, you know, the Starseed oracles are really that idea that we have this astral body, that we have this, this um, part of ourselves that is, you know, outside of our physical body. Our physical body is just a vehicle, a shell that we move around in for a number of years until we shed the physical body and our soul, our soul essence goes into the ethers and attaches itself maybe to another physical body. So just always be in um, awareness that, um, sorry, one of my ear pods just went, I'm not sure which one, <laughs> that we are just a body. We are just, we are, we are soul in a body and we are just carrying these bodies around. But we, while we've got them, we want to stay connected to them and listen to them and feed them properly. And that's why we practice Kundalini Yoga, because we want to be able to feed this body with everything it needs for all its different systems. So number, that was number seven, wasn't it? One, two, three, four. So today, the seven star, <laughs> that's funny, isn't it? Number seven is the seven star sisters. And also I want to present that today, tonight is um, the beginning of the solstice, the summer solstice in uh, the Northern hemisphere. So at uh, something like 4.22 in the morning when the sun comes up, it's the beginning of the longest day of the year. So the seven star sisters, and here I am sitting with one of mine, not actually by blood, but um, just by proxy, right? Um, and birthing creations, which is really interesting because I know both of us are right now. Birthing creations, tapestry of life and expression. So, um, yeah, there, there, there they are, the sort of dancing, dancing sisters there in the cosmos under the stars. And, I, and I'm sure this is, this is something we've done before and I'm sure we, we will do again. So I would just look up um, in a little book about it because I feel like that's quite lovely, really. Seven star sisters are the number seven. So let's have a look. Um, Oh, and it's a hundred. It's a nice number, a nice round number. 
and interestingly it's talking about birth and creation and that sort of that that sort of 100,000 nice kind of benchmark to reach if we're going to step into our monetary uh, desires and um, stepping up into what we deserve in order to live a life that we are paid worth you know we have paid what we are worth you know the hundred is a hundred thousand right so maybe this is a sign who knows so there are new creations that want to be born beauty that's yearning to be woven new consciousness that's longing to be breathed into life if you draw this card you're being called to surrender to these creations to usher in a new era of consciousness and do your bit in weaving the web of life this is the card of the artist and the midwife you're being called to ponder questions. What wants to be birthed through you? What new creations are whispering in your ear? What beauty are you being called to make? Creativity and intuition come from the same sacred place. They occur when we find ourselves flowing with the rest of life. Earth is renowned as a planet of manifestation and creativity, and yet so many of us have forgotten how to create. Somewhere along the way, we stop seeing ourselves as artists, as creatives, and as poets. Yet to be human is to be creative. Creativity is part of your true nature. Perhaps you're being called to surrender to a creative project, project such as a new business or a book. Or perhaps you're being called to weave beauty in your home or in the way you cook. Regardless of the end result, you're being called to express yourself through your creativity to surrender to the creative projects that both scare and excite you. We both understand that, right? To find a way to weave beauty back into everyday life. But when there's creativity, spirit and soul are present. And the world needs those qualities now more than ever. And your star seeding inquiry is, what new creations are you being called to birth? Okay, and on that note, let us go straight into this very deep relaxing class today okay um so i'm gonna ask you to come into baby pose but if baby pose um is a little bit tight so you can always open your legs but i want you to come onto your um your bottom onto your feet you can get yourself um, a bolster or you can get yourself um, a, a block to go under your head um, and we're going to be just um, I've got a weave can't wait to get into the studio next week where I'm not hemmed into a corner right <laughs> um, so what we're going to be doing is we'll be stretching out our arms so actually I'm going to add in here something else because I'm really enjoying this and you were saying how you liked it the other day so we're going to be stretching out our arms in baby pose. So why not, instead of just stretching out our arms straight, let's just do let's do the Jupiter Mudra. So let's um, get our index fingers together. Jupiter being the planet of expansion, our middle fingers pointing upward, the other fingers um, in a sort of fold over, as it were, wrapped, and the thumbs wrapped. And it, most of the time, women do left over right. But if you define as masculine, the part is right over left, but do whatever comes naturally. So if you think about the expansion of Jupiter up into the sky, let's just bring that down a moment and do it in the baby pose. So come on to your, um, your heels. So baby pose is more like rock pose, but with the stretch. But um, if you, find it difficult and it's not relaxing for a lot of people to put their bellies on to their um, legs. I, I would choose to come more out into a child pose um, personally, um, but you must do what makes you comfortable. And if it's for relaxation, then I would suggest that you really feel into it. So maybe try the, the, the baby pose with the rock knees and the stretching out so the Jupiter arms. Okay, so coming, actually you don't need to come down like that. You can come straight down onto that and then stretch your arms out. Excuse me, while I take, not sure why I'm wearing a necklace. Okay, 
so you can stretch yourself I've got the bowls here as well so that's all very fantastic so get your forehead on the ground your third eye on the ground and then instead of just having your hand straight out you can have the Jupiter um, fingers okay so we're just going to be in this pose get yourself comfortable if you need to put um uh, uh, something under your knees, like a, a blanket, or if you need a block for your forehead, but just try to be getting your 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 bottom as far as it can to your your feet and stretching out as far as you can. So we're actually <clears throat> going to be staying here for a while. We're going to be staying here for the whole of a track, um, and. I think my ear, I think one of my earpods is still on. Um, and we're going to be staying here for, for a track. And you're going to be thinking about the words Sat Nam. And you can even speak them out, chant it while you're there, allowing your voice to rise and fall with each wave and letting Nam be the seventh wave. So you're just going to be calling in Sat Nam. Sat Numb. So it's kind of got this wave to it. And imagining that at the base of your spine is where we simulate the parasympathetic nervous system. So I will just, um, we're going to begin now. So you're going to have the music. Hopefully you can still hear the music. Although, no, my, my, my pods have gone off. Let's have a look. Truth is my identity. 
Take a deep breath in where you are. Spend your breath. And then sigh it out. And imagine the air going all the way down your back towards your root chakra, towards your, um, your lowest vertebrae. Maybe take another deep breath in and think or say, I think, think that, and then let the air out on now um, and just bring the air towards your bottom and your feet down your spine. And maybe one more time, that, and now, yeah, letting it out. And then walk your fingertips slowly, slowly up, slowly, 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 so you're sitting back up. Great. Okay. So could you hear the music? Okay. That was all good. Okay. I haven't got the headphones. That's good. Okay. So now we're going to go into light nerve stretch. Okay. So you're going to place your legs out. Now, remember from before, or if you don't remember from before, if you just put, if you're very, very flexible and you can just sort of touch your toes, fabulous, right? But for most of us, we've been sort of you know, unless we're very warmed up, we can't do that, okay? So I would always suggest you can use a bolster underneath your bottom if you need to lift yourself up. But I would definitely suggest lifting your arms up into the air and then lowering yourself down, hinging forward from your hips and trying to see where you end up. Now, you don't have to hit your toes. You can just hit your calves, okay? anywhere from your knee downwards but you want to keep a straight back so you know you don't want to be curving too much like this okay so even if it's here that's good all right but if you take a couple of deep breaths where you breathe in you breathe the air upwards and then you forward bend you'll find that you can go a little bit further and if you want to do that a couple of times that's fine or even bending your knees and then, okay, and then when you sit up, you see how much further I've managed to go, okay? And then once you're down, you're just gonna take lovely deep breaths and you're just gonna stay in this position, okay? But if you're feeling like you're really bent, just bring your hands back a bit and just, Stay there, whatever feels good for you. I kind of like just allowing my lower spine to be really nicely stretched. So do what feels comfortable, yeah? Okay. So in, um, yes, let's, let's do that now.
just inside your legs so just breathing in and then breathing up breathing out just put your thumbs into that meridian channel which you probably well know because you're a Thai yoga teacher just see how that feels just doing that to yourself up and down breathing in and out so breathing out as so you go down and breathing in. Just feel what that feels like, okay?
take a deep breath in. Suspend your breath. And then just walk your hands up. A little bit of self-massage. Remember that breathing the air into the muscles is giving us that, ex that relaxation, that expansiveness. So now come back onto your bolster or however you like to sit on your mat. Actually, before we do that, we're just going to go into just into a corpse pose. Actually, we're just going to do a quick two minutes of asana. So lie on your back. And we're just going to get ourselves into a nice savasana with our legs straight if we can. <laughs> Not in my space right now. So legs straight on the floor, lifting up your back, just giving yourself a rock from side to side, just bringing your knees if you need to, just to stretch your back. Then make your legs straight out onto the floor. Knee, uh, put a bolster under your knees if you need to. And we just want to lie with our hands facing up to the ceiling and just spending a couple of minutes just allowing our body to
bit of a hug. Give yourself some love. Give that inner child a bit of a hug. Have a little bit of a rock from side to side. Maybe just do a little bit rock up when you're ready. Rocking up forward. That's it. Beautiful. Lovely. So, you know, taking a little savasana halfway through. <laughs> Just so we can just process where we're at tonight. And tonight, we just need that time. Permission, giving ourselves permission. Giving ourselves permission just to take however long we need, right? Without our brain taking over our body and saying, no, 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 you've got to be doing this, or you've got to be doing that. That's quite a hard thing with Kundalini Yoga is that we hold things for a long time. And it's kind of getting past that point where you go, okay, are we done now? Right? Because that's the brain wanting to do and get up and go into cortisol. But, you know, when we move past that, when we move past that, we allow ourselves just to stay in the rest and digest in the parasympathetic, but we must give ourselves that permission, which is not easy. So now we're going to do a, a, an exercise sitting comfortably, and we're going to do the uh, cupping hands. So we're just, just going to pull this back slightly. <clears throat> Okay, so cupping our hands. So we're kind of calling in the energy of the universe because obviously, not obviously, but Kundalini uh, Yoga of Awareness, Kundalini Warrior Yoga of Awareness is all about calling in life force energy the same way we do with lots of other modalities like Reiki. We're calling in the life force energy, the prana, the chi, the breath. So we're gonna put our hands out about 60 degrees and we're going to cup so we're going to put our fingers together and we're going to make these cups so you know the saying when your cup is full you have more to give than when your cup is empty you have nothing to give so we're asking the universe it's um, a little bit higher than i it's more like here yeah so but we're keeping the cupped hands okay so i'm just bringing my hands down because i haven't got very good um positioning with my camera now you can see all my gumps. Aha. Okay. Fabulous. So, yeah, still can't see my hands. But okay, cupping your hands. You've got it perfectly, Carl. So cupping your hands, closing your eyes, pulling up your Bandha, Uniyana Bandha, keeping your chest open, yeah? You can do a root lock there if you like as well. Okay, so you can pull in the Mahaba the the Jalanda Banda here in the throat, right? So you can make a whole Mahabanda. We're calling in the life force energy. So take a break if you need to, but hold it as long as you can. Remember the breath. Keep breathing into your body through your nose. Keep breathing into the diaphragm. It's the breath that's going to really help you to keep your arms up as long as you can.
<laughs> so I'm guessing you lowered your arms because I lowered my arms and um, Gianna was saying about that. So I must say at the beginning, I'm going to need to come out of poses before you to control the music and what's going on here. So I'm, I must make sure that I make that clear. Although that was starting to burn, I'm sure, right? <laughs> All right, so I'll turn the music down in order to say that we're coming to the end. And also I haven't got my ear pods in, so you're having difficulty hearing me, right? Yeah, but you can hear me when the music's down. Good, all right. Always technical things. Okay, so we always gotta do something that's gonna kind of not be that relaxing in order to then enjoy the relaxation. <laughs> so now we're gonna do a mantra. We're going to do the mantra Om Gom Gurune. Um, I say this wrong. Sorry, honey. Um, Om Gom Gamahe. Let's find it. Om Gam Ganapataye. Right. <laughs> so we're removing all obstacles in our lives. So after reading that card at the beginning and falling in whatever is coming next for us. We definitely need to move, remove any obstacles, yeah? Or any emotional obstacles that might be holding us back from where we want to be right now, physical and emotional, yeah? And ethereal obstacles, energetic obstacles. So, om gam gamahe gana pataye. <laughs> we'll do that together today. <laughs> Get my teeth in, all right? So try and chant it again, keeping those locks, keeping the chest open, keeping the spine. We're always trying to get that Kundalini awakening. We're always trying to get that, you know, divine masculine, feminine energy into our body as much as we can when we're in seated position. So mantra opening up the blue lotus in the throat. And as I always say, the medicine woman is here in the throat. The vibrational frequencies of Laya Yoga asking you to at least hum if you do not sing. So close your eyes, look into your third eye. <clears throat> kind of try looking up into your third eye as much as you can in between your eye, into your pituitary gland, into your unconscious, bringing it into the conscious is what it's all about. And as Carl Jung said, when we make the unconscious conscious, then we will no longer call it fate. Okay, so keeping that whole body in a nice uplifted position. Let us. Mudra, I forgot to say, wisdom mudra on your knees. Yeah.
Take a deep breath in, suspend your breath. Okay. <clears throat> so let us move into a Savasana position. Let us move into a longer Savasana. I'm going to try to give you some. some sound, um, we have to see how we do. Maybe you can let me know if you can hear first. I want to try and use the gong, So let's see. So if I turn that on, can you hear my voice? No, you can hear my voice. Okay, let me know if you can hear the gong. See how we go. So taking, that's it, keeping your legs supported on your knees, good idea. Leaving, relaxing your head on the mat, palms facing upwards, putting over a jumper or a shawl just to keep you warm if you need, although it is a very warm evening. I'm going to try and send you, as best I can, some, some gong and Tibetan bowls. So just breathing in, take a deep breath in. And then breathe it down through your body, through all your chakras and out through your perineum. Healing all your chakras on the way. Take another deep breath in. And then breathing down through your body, healing all your chakras on the way. And again, when you're ready, take a deep breath in. And healing your chakras back down. And just rest your palms, palms facing up. And just accept in the sound.
open my heart. Brilliant rays of light. Infinite light. Infinite light. Infinite light. Sigh it out. Another deep breath in and sigh it out. Another deep breath in and sigh it out. Maybe roll onto your side this time. Have a good stretch. Yeah, have a good stretch. Roll your wrists, roll your hands, roll your feet, your ankles, I mean. And slowly, very, very slowly roll up. So thank you so much for joining me this evening. Love and light. At Nam. Truth is my name. Who will I think? Truth is my name. Authentic authenticity is my game. <laughs> Lots of love. This will stop the recording.